Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about electromagnetism. So first, we'll look at Fleming's right hand rule, and then we'll talk about electromagnets. So let's say I have a metal wire. We know that there are delocalized electrons inside this wire because of metallic bonding. What would happen if I connected a cell or battery to this wire? Well, that would cause the electrons to flow, creating a current inside the wire. This current would create a magnetic field, and that is the basis of electromagnetism, using a current to create a magnetic field. Now, what about the direction of the magnetic field? We can work this out too. We're going to use Fleming's right-hand rule. So the thumb is always going to point in the direction of the current, from plus to minus. And then our fingers will tell us which way the magnetic field is moving. So let's put it into practice. So here's the right hand. Now we're going to point from plus to minus. So we look at the wire. We have the plus on the left, minus at the top right. So we're going to move the right hand. So the thumb points in the same direction. Then if we look at the fingers, we can see that it's pointing in the direction of the magnetic field. And in this case, it's going to be moving in this direction. Okay, what about if I flip the cell around? This time, the positive and negative terminals on the wire will also change. But still, we're going to use the right hand, this time point it in this direction, and then we can see that the magnetic field is going to point in the opposite way. So from this, we can learn that if we change the direction of the current, that will also change the direction of the magnetic field. Now, this is the same wire, it's just been coiled up. Now we can call it a solenoid. So if we attach a cell to a solenoid, what do we expect? Well, because of electromagnetism, we expect to get a magnetic field. Notice the shape of this magnetic field is different to that before. This one looks more similar to that of a bar magnet. Okay, so we have a positive and negative terminals. Now the magnetic field always points away from the positive terminal and in to the negative terminal, meaning that this is the North Pole and this is the South Magnetic Pole. What if you wanted to increase the strength of the magnetic field? You could increase the current, use a bigger battery, you could put more coils, and finally, you can place a soft iron core inside the coil. This would turn it into an electromagnet. Now finally, if you were to remove the current, that would also cause the magnetic field to disappear as well. And this can be useful in some situations. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.